For M, N, M, N and O, we've actually got the same graphs as we had last time. Instead of a cos, we've got a sine here. So we've got the same sort of things here, but this time the, um, the egg shapes are more around the y-axis. So for the first one, we've got this sort of shape here. That part there. The second one, it's a little bit bigger, isn't it? So it was going up to 7 and 6 and 6 and 5. That should go a bit lower, shouldn't it? So we've got this egg shape here. And this one here, I wish I hadn't rubbed out my last one. Basically, it's the same as we had before. Um, we've got, we have the little dimple in it here. Same little test each time. But this value is lower than two of those values. So there's a dimple. This value is bigger than two of those values, no dimple. This value is the same as two of those values, no dimple. So um, you can do a table of values. You can do them on the calculator. Um, 